Um, practice in preseason, it's been going really, really well. Um, we've had a lot of changes. Um, the girls have come in and they had a different coach come in, um, but we've been really using these practices for the opportunity of growth. Um, we've been working really hard to work on skills that we were working on last year, um, but then also we've been really working hard to get a lot of upgrades um, and kind of utilizing the new strengths that we have from a lot of the new team teammates that we've gotten, um, as well as being able to um, kind of utilize the strengths that we were building on last year. Um, the goals for this um, season, we're definitely focusing on being able to compete that team event through throughout the whole season. Um, that really focuses on aspects of safety, just to make sure that everybody's healthy, um, and a lot of team bonding to make sure that we're really in it as a team. We're really focusing on producing that outcome as not just individuals on the mat, but as a team, being able to get through the season um, successfully and being motivated and just to persevere through all the changes that have been happening. Looking at the different events, we're definitely trying to improve on those acro elements. Um, we've had some really high start values for those acro events, um, and I have a few people that were um, in the events with me last year on the team still, so we're really focusing on trying to improve those events and just kind of get a little bit higher start values, kind of clean up those areas, especially in that six element acro with the synchronized. We're trying to really improve that one um, just because that one's a really hard one to get that high start value with having two groups doing synchronized. Um, moving into this head coaching role, I've definitely seen a lot of different things from these athletes. So working with them, I did take a leadership role um, and I was able to help them and guide them through just kind of the events we were doing or any of the challenges we were facing. But it came more of from a different perspective where I wanted to be able to go out and compete and I wanted to be able to do what we were doing best. But now I get to kind of place myself on the outside and I get to rework how the team is doing, see what exactly they need to get those results. Um, so so it's a very interesting experience just being able to kind of remove yourself from being on the mat and kind of controlling all the outside factors, um, like team bonding, kind of the mental training we're doing, things like that. So it's, that's a really cool experience. Um, so we're definitely looking forward to competing against um, Morgan State University. It'll be our first D1 program that we're competing against. Also, it is a, another school that's located around us, so that's a really special experience, um, being able to help with that growth of acrobatics and tumbling. Um, our goals are going against them. We just want to make sure that we're being a really supportive team, and then we're also putting out um, what our best is just to make sure that um, they we can kind of help with that opportunity for growth for not just their team and our team, but also like the sport of acrobatics and tumbling. Um, we're also looking forward to competing against West Virginia State University with them being an inaugural program as well. Um, those are kind of really special experiences just to be able to help the sport of acrobatics and tumbling grow beyond all divisions. Uh, yes, we're definitely excited for the um, meet in Concordia. Uh, University of Wisconsin. Um, that'll be a really great trip that we're all taking. Um, and we're really looking to get into those um, event finals, um, especially in maybe the tumbling event with Annabelle and Trinity. I really think that they could get far in there. And then as well as some of the maybe pyramid or acro events. I think we could do great there.